360. Let's carry on with our stories this evening. The South African High Commissioner to Ghana, Lulama Nguana, has refuted claims the recent violence that rocked South Africa were xenophobic attacks, but rather a protest by communities against high levels of crime in the country by some foreign nationals. Speaking to TV3, she said no Ghanaian or Ghanaian businesses were attacked. We are concerned that uh, there have been uh, distortions in the media, especially social media, who have depicted uh, people who have died, people who have been stabbed, and so on and so on. And those are not true. In fact, I have seen some of these uh, messages or pictures, videos. In fact, those are not South African videos. Last week, there were reports of Ghanaians and Ghanaian businesses being attacked in South Africa. However, Foreign Affairs Minister Shelley Ayoko Butri refuted the reports. This was again confirmed by South Africa's High Commissioner to Ghana. I am not aware of Ghanaians having been attacked. I am not aware of Ghanaian businesses having been attacked. And uh, we have checked with our uh, office in Pretoria, head office in Pretoria, they have also uh, assured us that Ghanaians have not been attacked. According to her, so far 150 persons have been arrested in connection to the attacks, adding the security of foreign nationals is of utmost priority to the South African government. Some of the foreign uh, nationals that were dealing in drugs and that were accused of converting their homes into brothels for young girls. So the community was uh, uh, concerned about these criminal activities. Unfortunately, the criminal element in South Africa then got uh, into uh, these uh, protests and actually attacked innocent people, including South Africans also. Attacks by some South Africans on foreign nationals incensed most African nations, especially Nigeria, with some senators and legislators in Ghana and Nigeria calling for a boycott of South African businesses and products. The South African ambassador to Ghana says boycott is not the solution. Our governments are talking about these issues. Our government is talking uh, with the Nigerian government, with the Ghanaian government. We're talking and we're solving our problems through dialogue. 